I'm basically the type of guy that sees something and, and thinks, I can do that better. About 20 some years ago, I developed a product that I thought was a great idea. Um, I had a local bladesmith manufacture prototypes for me. Um, but when I went to take the next step, it would have cost literally a hundred thousand dollars to get a patent and get molds make and the dyes and essentially to make a run of this product. And at that point, you didn't even know if you have a market. So I let it go. Now you can go on eBay and buy the very same product from other companies. So perhaps I should have jumped on it. But the thing is, these days you don't have to. You can go to crowdfunding and fund your ideas and find a market for them. Hi, my name is Gabriel Martin and I am the owner and pretty much I do everything around Black Thumb Creations. Black Thumb Creations is basically a company that I started in order to develop and bring to market uh, aids and products related to the gaming industry. About 30 years ago I had a friend that was making dice towers out of cardboard and I thought, gee, this is just awful. So I started developing my own. Originally they were made from cardboard tubes with some baffles inside and over time they evolved into uh, plexiglass units. It was once again a case of I'm gonna build a metal mousetrap. So I started developing prototypes and a few months later I had um, the current dice towers that, uh, that you've seen. And the neat thing about these dice towers is they actually fall into a box. You can use it to store your dice in them as well as roll your dice through them. Essentially when I developed these dice towers I started out as a product that would be fully assembled. Now, the devising a tower and creating a dice tower that you're just going to assemble, you're gonna make a one-off on your laser cut, it's pretty simple. But I started thinking, how do I get this to market at a reasonable price point? So I decided to go into a do-it-yourself kit. Now, creating a do-it-yourself kit is very different from a one-off. You have to think about how is this going to be put together fairly simply without a lot of tools. That's where a lot of time went into this. And while I was developing these do-it-yourself kits, I started thinking, why don't I add graphics to them? On the fronts, on the backs. And so I ended up with a lot of different products that have different graphics and different materials, do-it-yourself kits, finished towers, and so on. But the interesting thing about developing products today is that you don't actually need to have a really deep pocket. So you can go to crowdfunding and actually do two things. One, raise some money to help you uh, with uh, the funding of your product and second to find out if there's an actual market for your product. So what we I've done with this product is a Kickstarter. Uh, the real meat and potato begins at $30 with the do-it-yourself kits with one set of graphics that the customers can choose from our selections and the front or back to fully assembled plywood dice towers which is essentially a do-it-yourself kit that's been assembled by us to uh, units built in rare woods ranging from walnut to maple and a few other choices. Those can be uh, uh, stained, uh, varnished, and you can either select from our graphics or provide your own at different levels of uh, reward. They're also available at a local store, the Sentry Box, and you can purchase them with different graphics or the Sentry Box logo on them. So our Kickstarter funding period runs until May 30th, so go ahead, jump into Kickstarter, search for Dice Tower. You'll find it there on the Functional Art Dice Tower.